After years of applying for grants, Westville Fire Protection District is now ready to upgrade its equipment. Last week, they were awarded more than $190,000 from FEMA. RWCI3's Jared Thomas explains what they'll be using that money for. It's time to get rid of the old and bring in the new, as Westville Fire Chief Mark Ames is preparing to find some new equipment. The grant that we received is to replace our air packs. Uh, they're coming on to about 18 years old. The FEMA grant was worth more than $190,000, and the department will match 5% of that, bringing the total to more than $200,000. They'll have enough to supply new tanks, new packs, and new masks. He says typically you want to replace these after 15 years. Assistant Fire Chief Matt Shuey says they've been lucky the equipment hasn't broke down while they've been out in the field. Basically, we've never had a failure while we are on scene during an incident, but we have had a couple of failures when we are in the house training. Both Shuey and Ames say their goal is to gather at least 20 new air systems, which will hold more than normal, but they still need more things at the station. What we're doing is systematically going through our programs and trying to update. And they're doing just that with an upcoming surprise for the community this Friday. Reporting in Westville, Jared Thomas, WCI3, your local news leader. This Friday, Westville Fire Protection District will be hosting a fish fry fundraiser for the community. It will be at the St. Mary's Church from 4 to 7 p.m. Tickets range from $10 to $14. At the event, they'll talk about what their next project is.